Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I am in another Dollar Tree. And just looking around, they have these fabric gift bags. They're pretty small. They're pretty cute. It says there's three of them in there. So what size are they? Six, four by six. There's three. Those are cute. And then I also saw these erasers. This is all Christmas stuff, of course. This store looks like it's still putting things out. These are treat bags. Look at the different designs. The cupcakes. The buffalo plaid trucks. There's a tree skirt. Pretty chintzy, but giant gift bag. Now this is what made me say, hmm, this pillowcase. This could be used for something else too. So they have the one with the red truck. And then they have this one with the Christmas trees. And they have the character um, hats, <laughs> Christmas hats, and then the shaped trays, oh, sorry, <laughs> and then they have these trays, and this is another pillow case, this one, bake fresh daily gingerbread, then they got the cookie tins. Lots of variety. Ugh. Look at the gnomes. I like this one too. The candy canes. Oh, the pink is cute too. Then they got the regular round ones. Let's see if I can show you what's on top. Oh, I like the bake shop. Seems like they're making it pretty standard to include pink and pastels for Christmas stuff. These are also bags that they have. These are seven by nine and you get two. And they have a drawstring closure. They also have these, I think these are wine bags. Well, it's a gift bag, but it looks like it's for wine. For the most part, it looks like they have the same things that I showed in the previous Dollar Tree Shop With Me video. Um, but again, they're still putting out products. So, got the bottle brush trees. And the gnomes are really, really cute. They're fairly large for $1.25. Pretty heavy, it's like a a bean bag type feeling. Something in there that's heavy in the bottom that makes it stand up. I would like to see how these are going to be used for Dollar Tree craft DIY craft projects and such. I've seen a lot of them. And of course, they still have Halloween things. They still have the Halloween trees, quite a few of those, but for the most part, just this little display area here is Halloween in this store. It's Day of the Dead. So the black one actually feels like a towel. This one, it's a flower sack. Okay. See there? Flower sack. And as far as fall, 
they have what we've seen previously. Just a lot of it. The cups, two different designs. I really like the one with the teal. All right, let's go to the craft section. Must, must see what's in the craft section. Some more bottle brush trees, and these have the little beaded uh, garland on them. So that's different. I hadn't seen that before. And they also have more options for the miniatures here. So you got the gate in two different colors. They only have a few of the miniature houses and buildings and things. Okay, I'm on the craft aisle. Just looking to see if I see anything new and interesting. I haven't seen these before, but I was aware that they have them. These are some um, jewelry findings and gold. That's, I guess a good deal. They got the jump rings, silver jump rings. measuring tape. I don't know if a dollar and twenty-five is a good price for that. Here's some earring findings. Huh. This section is a little torn up, but I don't see anything new or different much. This looks different, but I'm pretty sure I have it. <laughs> Dragonflies. Oh, they have these with the sentiments. Let's see if there's any other ones behind here. Or are they all the same? Oh, they're different. So the hooray, celebrate hooray. Hello, congrats. Hello, welcome, congrats. And I think that's pretty much it on those. More clear stamps. The pipe. Bottle. The label. Let's see anything else back here. What are those? Cowboy. Those are rub on. Ooh. Oh, so they got the feathers and the sea elements. The hot air balloons, the florals. Wow, that's different. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. But I may be doing a little haul after this. So you can see them up close and personal. I don't think I like the hot air balloons. There's some other rub on options that they have hidden back here. Some of this is stickers, those are stickers. Okay, so that looks like that's it for the rub ons. Iron on sheet. So what would you earn that on? I don't know. They have these giant floral wall decals. Giant meaning they're probably like, let's see if the size is on here. No, they look to be about eight and a half by 11 size, maybe even bigger. And you get two for, well, you get more than two. You get multiple. For $1.25. Okay. 
Well, here's another design down here. Cream, purple. All right, I think we have covered it all in this store. I did pick up a few items on this shop with me, visit to Dollar Tree. But before we get into that, I wanna share the items that I picked up from my previous visit to Dollar Tree. I did get that ornament. I think it's really, really cute. And it's very heavy too. I was shocked at how heavy it is. It's not, it doesn't feel like some cheap plastic. I'm not sure what it's made out of. I think it is like a ceramic but it's really nice quality. That's what it looks like. She's so cute. All right, and then I also got some of these uh, cupcake wrappers. I know it's a little late for Halloween, but these can always go in my stash. There's 12 pieces in here and I can get quite a bit of use out of that. And then I also picked up this packet. Now I've seen these multiple times. It's two notebooks for $1.25. Uh, each one has 32 sheets. One is about a five size and the other is about a six size. Um, I had someone ask me about making, turning a Dollar Tree journal into a junk journal. I'm not sure if this is the best option because these are stitched together, but I kind of want to play around with that. I also want to play around with dipping as far as coffee staining. And I have some other notebooks to test out too, but I just picked up a couple more. I do have some ideas on how to turn these into junk journals. If you are interested in things like that, let me know in the comments. I always ask and most people say yes, but then when I do the videos, nobody watches and I don't want to do them if nobody's going to watch. So let me know. Seriously, let me know. Okay. So that was everything that I picked up on the previous visit. That was why I didn't do a haul video because I only got those three things. So now I'm going to share a couple of items that my daughter picked up. And I told her, I said, I'm going to put your stuff in my haul because I thought it was interesting. So she picked this up and I asked her, what was she going to do with this? And she said she has ideas on how she's going to use it. But this is just a, a plaque. It's a day of the dead plaque. And this is what it looks like. And it might be a little dented up because I did drop it when we were getting out of the car on the way in the house. So, <laughs> but that, actually she got that and it's fairly long. I mean, let's see, this is an 18 inch ruler. So yeah, it's about 18 inches by two inches. And let's see how wide or thick is it? It's about three quarters of an inch in thickness. So got that. And I don't know anything about this because I don't wear makeup like on a regular basis but she picked up this la colors velvet lip mousse so if you know anything about that let me know it says souffle and i'll ask her how she likes it then for me <laughs> i picked up some of these knockoff command hooks i guess they are i hope they work well i want to use them on the side of my drawers, on the side of my shelf and my cart to hold different tools. So I need something to hold my heating tool when I'm not using it. And I need something to hold my hot glue gun when I'm not using it. So I figure one of these would work. These says it holds up to two pounds. These say they hold up to one pound. I have tried Command brand also. And I feel like none of them work that great here because of the humidity and moisture. So I'm gonna see how these do. Um, but yeah, for $1.25, I figured it was worth a try. Here's some more Halloween because I just cannot let it go. <laughs> and this is eight piece, an eight piece of treat bags. They're paper bags. Um, yeah, I just couldn't pass that up because I didn't want to regret it later. And you know, I love the candy corn. That one was a must. Then I also got this with the haunted house. For some reason this year, I'm more interested in the cutesy tootsie 
Halloween. So this falls within that category. And I picked that up. This one is eight pieces too. So I think that's it for Halloween. I'm gonna try and make that it for Halloween. So now on to Christmas, kind of. I picked up these. These are 10 bags for $1.25. It says, let it snow. And that's what they look like. You hold them up so you can see a little better what they look like. And the bags are, I think they're all the same size, so I don't know why you get less in one as compared to the other. So these are about four and a half by almost nine. And I think they're all the same bag. Let's see. Oh, it does give you the size on this one, but this one it doesn't. This one says four and a half by nine too, and it opens to two and a half inches deep. Okay. So you could even use this as a cover for a journal. Now I'm thinking junk journal stuff. So maybe I'll, yeah, we won't talk about that here. Then I picked up one of these pillowcases. See, that's what it's supposed to look like. And I guess you just cover an existing throw pillow, but I picked it up for something else. Let's open this one up and see what it looks like. Cause it's basically just a burlap fabric. It does have a zipper. Ooh, I wonder what I can do with that zipper. Remove the zipper and use it for something else. But this is what it looks like. It's a decent size. I guess it's the size of a regular throw pillow which is 12 plus about three and a half so 15 and a half by 15 and a half I'm pretty sure it's square yep so that's what it looks like that's the texture of the fabric and the back is plain again I'm thinking of deconstructing it and the inside has a lined feeling i don't know if it's actually a liner on there but it is soft on the inside okay so that's one of the cases then i also got this one it says 100 100 polyester fibers wow that's a good polyester this is what this one looks like. So you can see the full design before I open it up. Oh, it says 15.748 by 15.748. I guess it would help if I start reading the packaging instead of just measuring it. So this one, I don't know how it would make this one work for what I want to use it for, but I couldn't pass up the red truck, you know, apple cider and hot cocoa. And then the back. And the zipper is on the bottom of the pillow case. And then this is what the inside looks like. I think this is a good idea, $1.25. And you could get a couple of them and have just a little festive throw pillows on your couch, chair, furniture, whatever the case may be. But yeah, I thought those were pretty cool. Okay, then I also found these fabric gift bags. I'm sure they've had these before, but maybe I just didn't notice. These are, it's a two piece set. They're seven by nine. So I find that hard to believe. That's nine inches. That's a little shorter. It's more like almost eight and three quarters, not even quite eight and three quarters. Um, So, cause I was thinking I could put a five by seven journal in here, a gift or something. If I can get the ruler to turn around the right way to measure, and it's slightly shorter than seven inches. It's more like six and seven eighths. Um, but yeah, both designs are the same. And it says fabric gift bag. What kind of fabric are we talking? It doesn't say it has that burlapy feel, but I don't think it's, it's not really burlap, but that I got those. Then I got this design 
with the red snowflake. Same thing, two piece. And I got this one with the little green Christmas tree. So these were the three designs that I saw. Um, so I got one of each. Then I made my way to the craft section. I did see that they had some new clear stamps. They had the ones with the sentiments, but I think I have enough sentiment stamps and I don't do cards. I don't make cards as of yet. I may start, but I do have a project coming up and this is a little inspiration for that. So I picked this one up. It's kind of got that detective Sherlock Holmes feel to it. So a vintage detective. Then I found these rub on transfers. They're gold on a black. Hopefully you can see that minus so much glare. So these are rub on transfers. It says metallic. Um, let's see. Let's get another one. I got this one. And then I got this one. That one was dandelions. This one is feathers. And then this one with the sea creatures and shells. Trying to avoid the glare as much as possible. Okay, so let's see. They had one with hot air balloons too, but I just couldn't get into that. So I think I'll test the dandelion. So it's one sheet, the black here is the packaging actually. So this is what it looks like out of the packaging. See, I have my B6 Stalogy Everyday Planner here. So let's put one somewhere in here. Let's do something in August because I didn't really decorate August. Let's put something here in the sidebar. I wonder, do I need to cut this like I do the ones that are on paper? Because this is on acetate, probably only on plain, clean and dry surface. Cut out the design of your choice. Peel off the backing. Place the design with the adhesive side down. Okay, then you rub it. All right, all right, which design do I wanna use? I guess I might as well Go for the big one. I didn't really want to do that, but why not? So let's carefully cut this out. Some of it came off on the backing. I don't know if you can see that, but it did. Maybe I should have peeled it off a little more carefully. And then I'm gonna use my bone folder. You can use a coin. You can use a popsicle stick or a craft stick. I don't have one of those. So I'm using my bone folder. Hopefully this will work. Um, this is another instance of, I've had rub-ons before then you can tell when they have adhered to the paper. In this instance, you can't tell. Maybe I should have put my writing board under this too. Probably doesn't help that I'm cushioned by all of the other stuff. So let's move that out of the way. Try to make sure we're on a flatter, harder surface. And rub-ons are a good alternative for adding to notebooks and uh, planners, especially when it's a bound book like this, because it doesn't add any bulk. It's, it's just almost as flat as the page. It's very minimal. So you can still decorate without chunking up your notebook. Okay, there we go. It worked. See how nice. OK, 
Okay. So that's an example of the rub on how they work. They work fine and they are metallic as stated. So that is everything that I got. Not a lot, just a little preparing for Christmas. I want to make some journals, but I don't know if time is going to permit, but if I do, then I have coverings for them and I, I will make smaller things to fit in these. And if not, then I'll have them in my stash. It's not like they're going to go bad or anything. All right. So will you be looking out for any of these things in your local Dollar Tree? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and you may be interested in this other video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.